Hi, John Valvano here, and I'd like to show you some of the initial testing of your software solution to Lab 7. Now, it turns out you don't have to write the whole lab before you start debugging. So debugging in pieces makes sense. And so in this particular video, I'm going to show you that as long as you can write the two functions in lcd.s, you'll be able to run this line of code and test those two functions. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here because I haven't written uh, the rest of the functions. And so I'm going to build it here. And so I can first test it in the simulator uh, to make sure those two functions work. Okay, and so it takes a little bit of while for the uh, display to uh, initialize, uh, but you can see that over here in this window, uh, we are properly showing the output of uh, the device. Okay, so now we're empowered in that. Uh, let's run it also on the real board. Okay, so stop the debugger, uh, go over to options, debug, real board. Uh, build, um, build, download, run. Okay, so this time we're running on the real board. Okay, so if I step over the function here, uh, my display will go black. Okay, and if I execute the out string, uh, you're going to see that it will output that message. Okay, so the first step in debugging is to write the two functions in lc.s. And once you do that, you can now use string output to the display. And I encourage you to do your debugging in steps so you can separate where your mistakes are. All right, enjoy.